Good evening, I'm Dave Leno. Indiana Superintendent of Public Instruction Tony Bennett is criticizing school districts for discussing teacher reductions as a primary route to budget cuts instead of exploring other options. The Monroe County Community School Board held three public meetings last week. It discussed nearly $6 million in savings but did not use talks with parents and teachers as a basis for amending its plan, which calls for 75 layoffs as part of a cost-cutting structure. Bennett says the State Board of Education formally adopted a citizen's checklist to be used by local school communities as they respond to lower state financial support in order to minimize the need for layoffs. The Office of Women's Affairs hosted the Westernization of Beauty on IU's campus Tuesday night. The discussion explored issues like skin tone, body image, and lookism, a preconceived notion of others based on their appearance. A panel of four women from different racial backgrounds talked about conforming to fit in with society's expectations. The program aimed to empower women and move past traditional stereotypes by recognizing images aren't real, and traditional and cultural differences should be respected and embraced. The debate on whether making pseudofedrin a prescription drug will eliminate meth production or not has caught State Health Commissioner Judy Monroe's eye. Monroe says she needs to analyze more data on the drug's effects. She's also concerned that people might not be able to afford the drug if it's a prescription. Pseudofedrin is a currently an over-the-counter drug used to relieve cold and allergy systems. Currently, Mississippi and Oregon are the only two states that have flipped how one can get the drug. Let's take a look at your weather forecast tonight. Cloudy with a 50% chance of snow, lows in the lower 20s. And for more on these stories and other local news, go to indianapublicmedia.org.